All right, welcome back to the Balance Diet Hotel Entertainment this morning. Now, we're not so done to make the pronouncement on top of this one because this particular level, at the level where everybody needs to pull their ear, go on body to their chair because this information they give you now, will they give you life um, for inside the Wazobia, Wazobia Max TV studio. And this one, it concerns everybody where they live for inside Lagos State. If you be say you never be victim of them, if you be say you know anybody will be victim of them, but people where they live around you, sabi person, or themselves even victim of this particular scenario who they hear almost every day on top social media. Now you're going to wonder what they talk about. We they talk about the rights of every citizen, especially for if, if you did for inside Lagos State, because we don't they hear a certain violation. Then that, that one means a certain person they take advantage of another person for one reason or the other. And that's not why we get a very casual guest inside the building. She done there for inside the Ministry of Justice since the year 1994. She don't work for different directorate. And right now, now she be the director of Citizens' Rights for inside the Ministry of Justice. Help me make welcome Mrs. Abiola Oseni in the building. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Um, ma, looking at the um, the stories we'll be carrying since last week, as at last week, we know so we'll be get one particular real life situation will be happen. And now you, your department and your agency be actually be the follow up on top of that particular scenario. Now there's another case on ground. I beg, throw more light on top of that particular case. Okay, this one uh, about um, defilement of a child. If I mean, say, when um, somebody takes advantage of a little child, or not necessarily of a child, anybody under 18, that's defilement as distinct from rape. Aha. Uh -huh. right. So in the case of defilement, you mean say that pekin, in, it's in, a child. In, in a small pekin, under the age of 18, yes. he never reached the level if he decides by himself to live on his own mm -hmm. or to take mm -hmm. responsibilities. On top of certain things, and this particular case, how old be the be the child will be they defiled? This one, uh, six year old, a six year old girl. She be six. Six year old, and the person we do have a family member or an outsider. Now, a mama colleague for work. A mama colleague for office. Yes. Now defile this young lady. Yes. How I mean, people they try to understand how this young, how the six year old child get opportunity to sit down with a colleague with the mama colleague. The mama can go house. Or the colleague come house, or the mama can go office. The school bus, unfortunately, that normally on Fridays and Tuesdays drops the child in the office, uh -huh. and then they go home together. Maybe I think they go to church and then go home. So they drop them for the mother, and then that's the way they go. And then the mama go keep the picking where for in her office, right beside her in yes. her office. So I think on this particular occasion, a senior officer called the mother. So she can't get up, go do, listen to your girl, say, what in your girl want? In the process, the first time the girl said she wanted to use the bathroom. I said, okay, where's the toilet? Somebody took her. She was in the toilet and then this, her father, her mother's colleague came in. And that was it. And came to meet her there. And she, she was very specific, said, he asked, me to take off my pants, and then I was shocked. She, using her words, he put his thing in my own. Wow, I mean, it, it, it's it's quite a very sensitive case, Extremely. and um, this one, it is very disturbing for some people to actually very, hear. Very. Um, and, and but it's how, all over now. How? It's all over. This week alone, we've had about three complaints like that. There's, the pedophiles are everywhere. So who be come out to actually ex uh, expose this particular scenario? Who be come out to come talk? Now the mama. Wait, how did mama be know? What sign did she see? Okay, they got home. She wanted to give the child a bath, and she took the child into the bathroom. And lo and behold, she said that the child was wet, and she was like, did you really on your pants? And I said, no. So what happened to you? So she took off the panties and lo and behold she said there was semen all over her baby and she was like what is this and the baby started crying she then said i would die if i tell you my mommy don't let me tell you she said i would die i would die so she had to carry the baby and pet her and tell her look you're not going to die nothing would happen to you just come with me so she said she took the child into her bedroom and she told the child, you see all these things that I've bought for you for Easter, I'm going to throw them away if you don't tell me. And that party you have on Saturday, you're not going. Hmm. You know? I said, so, of course, a little child, after a while, she said, okay, mommy, 
It's Mr. So 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 in your office. And that's it. Wow. And um, so after this, when I come walk go, she come carry the after she after the picking confessed to the mama. Mm. What did the mama come do? She took the child to the hospital. Okay. That was the first time. That was two weeks ago. So they treated the child. Unfortunately, she was trying to conceal. She not confront the she man. She didn't confront him. She was. She just took it in her stride. But when on Tuesday again. That not Tuesday. This week. This Tuesday. Two uh, days yeah, ago. That's two days ago. Yeah. The same thing happened. She wanted to give the child a bath, and then lo and behold, so she was now like, ah, ah, what is going on? So the child said, it's still the same person, no? It's still the same person, and, and she was like, ah, ah. But the person wasn't in the office when the school bus brought. She said yes, that she went to wash the plates. She said no. She she, she was specific. She said, Mr. So 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 said I should go and wash the plates. That I finished eating. Oh, okay. So if this person said you should go, how come is that person that and when she was washing the plates, he too came to wash his plates. Apparently, he overheard when she was asked to go and wash her plates, and that was it. And there, he took advantage of her again. Hmm. And then when, when she, when the Peking confessed to the mama, the yeah. first time when the Peking confessed, the mama carried the Peking hospital. Mm. But this second time when the Peking confessed, what did the mama come do? She made a lot of noise, created a scene. And immediately, no, 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 immediately she went back to the office. Okay. There were still people there and she said, this person that, we're going to kill this person to do that. This is the second time, da, 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 and everybody came out and they tried looking for the guy. He had gone home, so somebody went to his house to fetch him. And he followed the person, come back he office? He didn't come with them. So yesterday morning, he now came to the office. So that was where he was apprehended. Apprehended. And, and when they asked some question, he accepts saying, do no, it. No, he's do? still denying. Up until last night, he was still denying. Till last night, he, so he has not even confessed to No, him. not yet. Wow. Not yet. Wow. So it just necessarily means that we should take care of our kids and be more vigilant. That's it. I mean, you can't take your eye off your kid. That's what it means. Mm. You must be. Well, it's quite an unfortunate situation, but um, kudos to your department for actually following up and Thank making you. sure someone goes swift into action. Because Thank if you, not yes. two times what you don't do to this particular child, we don't know how many other children yes, will no, they exactly. actually abuse and they don't walk mm. her mm. away from them. A lot of people nowadays, just as the mama, her first reaction is to keep her to herself. Yes. A lot of adults or a lot of people we don't witness this thing, did they, get, did they walk her in that same path of wanting to keep it to themselves? Why would they get that similar path? We can be like, say, Na, na normal thing for people. Because everybody believes in a stigma. We say, okay, stigma on who? On the child, on the on, victim? On the victim, or even the on the mother. person perpetrating. Oh, even on the person where they report. Yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Even on the mother. Like, ah, uh, now begin the rape, or now begin the defiling. That's it. That's the psychology of the average person. I don't want the next person to know. She didn't even tell her husband. Her husband heard yesterday. She didn't tell her husband. Hmm. So it took forever for us to counsel the man yesterday that don't take it out on her. Just see it like she didn't know how to say. Because it was, that was another scenario entirely. The man didn't want to understand why his, his wife would not mention it at all. She didn't mention it. Now, for people where they watch us, because some people, um, they know of situations like this. It might be similar, it might be the exact style, mm -hmm. it might be the exact pattern, but they don't know how, they don't get the courage, they don't get the mind or the liver, as some people, they come outside, they talk, to come out and report this kind of situation. They don't even know where to, they don't even know any department to even believe say something like that, they happen. And more importantly, they're trying to protect their own identity from this kind of scenario. How, what do you to tell those kind of people where they watch us now from wherever they watch us? Just come into the Ministry of Justice. Ask for the domestic and sexual violence team. The domestic and sexual violence team. And you'll find somebody talking to you immediately. Because of course, you, the person might not even want to say it on a phone or something because you would have a number and all that. 
but you can quietly walk in would keep your identity. Like now, I'm not mentioning anybody's name and I've told the tale. Exactly. So, would keep your identity definitely. We were particular about that child receiving attention. We are particular about mm. being able to pin the culprit. Because if you report early, would still have evidence of penetration, would still have the semen, and they can take semen analysis to the forensic lab. We have a forensic lab that does that. All right, so going back to the story, um, so far so good, waiting don't happen to the girl. Because a lot of people, they're interested in waiting, they happen to that victim after Right the now, she's in the hospital, the Mirabel Center. Okay. Somebody's looking at her and somebody's, she had an appointment for 8 a.m. and I'm sure she's there. All right. Definitely. And then for the culprit, we, we, don't, we don't actually do this badness. Waiting the law, they talk for this kind of person. Immediately, he's going to be taken in and taken to court. He will be charged to court. And if I'm guilty, waiting be the sentence or waiting be the penalty? <laughs> the felony is life. Life imprisonment? Yep. He's going to go for it. Those days are over where you do something and you think in a few years you'll be out. No, no. And how will it assure people where they watch Practically, us? Practically... I mean, we have special courts now that take care of sexual violence and, and sexual harassment, anything that has to do with um, a sexual offense. It's, it's called a, the special uh, sexual offenses courts. Now, for some people, because like in this case of the woman, some people don't want um, the psychological trauma of going through this case, court today, court tomorrow. Some parents go one talk, say they want to settle them out of court, say they don't want to make court they're involved in them anymore. Waiting, waiting with you to do at that point? No, there's nothing like that. In Lagos State, we cry more than the bereaved. So, I mean, that you don't want it anymore would be a, like you're not going to court, would be a big issue be a big issue. Hmm. All right, um, and this is a very uh, uh, kudos to Una once again because a lot of situations like this, they happen every day. Some people know one come out and report. Some people, they feel safe, they report. Stigmatization, just as you talk, go to the top of their head. And um, the wife and the mama and the papa of the Peking, um, how are they taking all of this? Well, of course, they're down. This is a downtime for them. But like I said to them, you should be particular about justice for your child. And it should be a lesson to others. So if you sit back and say you're not prosecuting, some other day, somebody, you go do harm to another person again if he's not apprehended and um, justice is not served as it should be served. For some people, we don't still believe in the justice system we'll get for inside Nigeria. Some people, they talk, say, even if you give a life imprisonment, if you get better money, if you get lawyer, it will come out, and when you come out, you can't do nothing for your face. For people who don't believe in how good our Lagos State justice system is, what do you go tell them in that regard? I think they should go to the courts and find out. In the last, I'm sure in the last six months, we've had about, had about eight or ten convictions of pedophiles like this. They're there. Hmm. And I mean, for anybody to remember, there is this, the Unilag one. The guy is behind bars as well, so I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> with experience. And with the fact with that the they fact come, that, come, you know, come on top media, yes, come talk the can, story as they happen. You with know the that up. something is happening. It's not, it's not business as usual. It's not business as usual. So everybody where they're out there, especially if you, they commit this kind of badness, on top of young children out there, um, you know, say the law must surely catch up with you. Even though they talk, say 99 days for the thief. One, one day. day, one day. <laughs> that owner, the owner, when he catch you, that 99 days you don't do that badness, you don't go even reach the penalty where you go face. Thank you so much, um, Mrs. Thank Abiola Oseni, Director of the Citizens' Rights Ministry of Justice, for coming inside the studio this morning. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.